I just figured she was talking about Brad. I'm like, well, he certainly looks the part. Probably don't even have to do a whole lot of makeup on the guy. Just throw some bolts in his neck, paint him green. There you go. Mm. So uh, I've been having a lot of car problems. Anybody else have those lately? Yeah. Yeah. It's crap. I think I have the worst car problem though. Uh, I don't have a car. So uh, if I was to go to a mechanic and say what's wrong, they'd say, well, first of all, you don't possess a motor vehicle, sir. And uh, when you bring it in, I'm sure the AC is going to be shot. So, you know, that's going to be at least 700 bucks. So uh, I don't have a car, so I, I rode the bus here. And uh, when I don't ride the bus, I usually ride my bike. And uh, like people, people think it's okay to just give you crap when you're riding a bike. I'm, I'm riding my bike down the street and people just go like, fuck you. Why? <laughs> what did I do to you, man? I'm just going to work. Like, everybody gives me crap, even homeless people. They're like, get a cart! <laughs> really, homeless guy? I was like, you got no room to speak. He's like, hey, I sleep in a Mazda. I can get across town in 20 minutes if need be. Touche. <laughs> Saw a homeless guy. They're starting to sponsor the homeless people. He had, the, he had, a, had a beautifully, professionally made sign, and it said, uh, homeless, hungry, please help, God bless. Brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, the best source for auto parts in the Southern Valley. Who's drinking tonight? I see a couple of you here. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody drinking? Yeah. Okay, excellent. I think uh, my favorite drink is vodka. And uh, I think that's probably because it used to be actual food. Like there was some farmer out there, you know, he worked really hard on his potato crop. He's spraying it for bugs. And then he pulls up a potato and he looks at it and he's like, wow, that's a beautiful thing. God's creation. You could just slice it down the middle, put some sour cream in it, it'd be delicious. It could feed a family in Africa for a day. Nah, throw it in the grinder, start turning it into poison. That's exactly what we need. We're going to keep that family in Africa drunk for a day is what we're going to do. So, uh, I'm not originally from here. Uh, I'm from actually a small town in Wyoming. and uh, But I moved here and I still get culture shock sometimes, you know, like a... I live near Chinatown and it still kind of weirds me out whenever I go into a Chinese restaurant and there's like Chinese people working there. Which is, which is not the case in Wyoming. In the, in the amazing boiling pot of culture that is America, Wyoming is like the crackers on the side, the little square white part. And uh, so you, you go into a Chinese restaurant and you feel just a little bit cheated. You go in there, you're like, geez, I see real Mexicans at Taco Bell. What's going on here? Give me a, you know, give, give us a Korean. We honestly can't tell the difference. You know, like maybe a nearsighted busboy who squints a lot, something like that, while he fills up my Mountain Dew. Get chicken nuggets in a Chinese buffet for some reason. The thing I love about living here in Las Vegas is uh, women are absolutely beautiful. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that. Ladies, how are you yeah. doing? Looking good here. Yes. And, uh, again, not the case in Wyoming. Uh, when you get into Wyoming, like, out in the Midwest where there's no reality shows being filmed or anything, you know, you move up to a whole different echelon of ugly. There's a, there's a woman out there, I swear is the ugliest woman in the world. She's a woman so ugly, she just makes you think you're gay. Like, you're just walking around, you're just secure in your sexuality, and then you see her, and you're like, whoa! Every man in the world is way more attractive now. This is causing some very stirring feelings that I'm not quite comfortable with. She's got like seven teeth in her head, but braces on them for some reason. Like, you know, long strips of cheese gutters just like sticking out of her mouth. And it's pretty much the most hostile place you would ever put a penis. And, uh, could you imagine? It's like going through a minefield. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> and, and, she, and she's fat too, but it's not like a normal fat. It's like there's weird amorphous blobs of flesh just hanging off of her at random points. Kind of like boobs without tits. Or tits without nipples. <laughs> Surprise, I messed up. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's terrible. And, uh, and she... She got married to a guy who's just as ugly as her, and I gotta wonder how that played out. Like, they saw each other from across the bar, and it was like, settling for less at first sight. It's like, yeah, hey, you, me, yeah, we're ugly. We should get together. It's about the only way this anything's gonna happen between us. They got married, and they had a baby. Guess what the baby looks like? It's actually very beautiful. It's blonde, blue-eyed. No, it isn't. That is not how genetics works, people, and they should have known better. It's got like three fingers on one hand and a cleft lip. 
it's just kind of, yeah, it's an, it's an ugly kid and through no fault of its own, but they should have known better. Like, they could, you know, pop a science textbook every once in a while. They'd be like, hey, baby, says here our kid's going to be ugly as shit, just like us. Maybe we should adopt. <laughs> All right. I got a question. Why did a why when it when it came to the the whole Catholic priest molestation scandal? Why did they only molest like the choir boys and the altar boys and stuff like that? I mean, it seems like they were the good kids. It seems like they could have gotten away with it a little longer if they used it as a form of punishment. You know, if uh, you know, they said, "Oh, my son's acting up in school," the priest would say, "Well, bring him by the church. I'll put the finger of God in that boy." <laughs> fear. I meant fear. I meant fear. <laughs> All right, everybody, my name's Robbie Comers. Thank you all so much for having me out tonight. Enjoy the rest of the show.